Hey, how's it going? It's Alex from Hunts Photo and Video. I just wanted to make a quick video today about the Wacom Intuos Pro Medium and how I can kind of integrate that with a program like Capture One. So if you have a pressure sensitive tablet, it's got a lot of buttons on it, got a lot of doodads, you know, what do they do and where can I fit them in with a program like this? Well, the big thing for me with an image management program like Capture One is being able to get through things really quickly. And one of the ways that we can do that is we can automate this exposure slider to the touch ring on the tablet. So if we go over to the Wacom Desktop Center, so that's right here on the bottom here, we can click on the touch ring settings option. We can open that up in the, our system preferences and we can actually save our own Capture One preferences specifically for just Capture One. So if you have multiple programs, you can actually set different preferences for your tablet for the different softwares that you like to use. I only use like probably three different softwares and there's only two of them on here. And what you can do is you can add an application with this little plus icon. You can click this and then it will open up the Select Applications dialog and you can pick Capture One from there. And then it will save a specific set of shortcuts just with that application. So don't feel like you have to remember every single one of your configurations for this. You can make different ones for different softwares that you use. And if I want to load one out for Capture One, the one that I would change, I'm just going to pick one setting on here and I'm going to change this keystroke option. I'm going to change this. This was set to rotate, I think, by default. I'm going to set this to a keystroke. And the keystrokes that I want to use with Capture One are going to be its control command minus. So if I back this up, it's going to be control command and minus. And then on the bottom, I want this to be control command and plus. And what that's going to do is it's going to make a capture one exposure slider adjustment for me. And that's what I've named it here on the bottom. So if we click OK, I'm just going to pop back into Capture One here for a second. And what we can do is I can actually show you what this looks like. If I press my touch ring controls, I can actually change over to that Capture One exposure slider there. So now if I rotate the touch ring to the right, which would be clockwise, I can now raise the exposure or I can go to the left or counterclockwise to lower the exposure, which is great because what does that mean for me? That means I can put one hand on my left and right arrow keys, toggle through a bunch of pictures, and I can keep my finger on my touch ring control to change the exposure across multiple pictures really quickly. The reason this is better is because Normally, I would have to bring my cursor over to the exposure slider for every picture, you know, and go through each one and change it. And now I can just be a little bit quicker and I can just roll this as opposed to having to bring the mouse over there. And you can also set it up to do the other ones too. You could do contrast, you could do brightness, you could do saturation. The other thing I want to change with this would be the brush size, which by default they actually have a preset for that. If I click B on the keyboard, that selects the brush tool. And then there's actually already an option to change the brush size here. And I can just roll the touch ring again to change the brush size up and down. And then the last thing I wanted to kind of show you here was you can actually set a set of on screen controls, which is great. So for someone like me that has a bunch of shortcuts that they would otherwise have to learn to learn a program like this, I now can have one button that shows me a whole bunch of different shortcuts for a program like this. So if I go back over to the desktop center and I can go to, it, it would be just somewhere in here, just click on any of these, it brings you to the same place, and go over to on-screen controls. What these panels are, they're different key assignments that you can load up at the press of a button. So for me, where I have a bunch of shortcuts that I like to use, now I don't have to remember any of them. I can just make one for Capture One. I can click that plus icon, name one for Capture One, and then I can record the keystrokes that are specific to Capture One. For example, this first keystroke, which is going to be F2, is the shortcut for New Variant. 
So if I wanted to be able to quickly make a clone or another virtual copy of my picture and make a different adjustment, I now have that ready to go loaded in this on-screen control versus having to remember to press F2 every time, which is a totally new shortcut for me. I, it's going to take me forever to try to learn that. Um, so what you can do is you can load it with other stuff too. There's a whole bunch of options. I can also put in here one for copy adjustments, which is going to be shift command and C for copy adjustments and then I have one for paste adjustments. Once we have our keyboard shortcuts loaded in here and named and everything we can actually load this up as one button on our pen. So if we go over to the pen here we can go over to um, this option here which is typically the I believe it's double click by default it's just the topmost button on your pen you can change that over to the on-screen control function for Capture One. So now when I right click on that top, that top button, it'll bring up those options and I can just click on one. So if I wanted to make a new variant of whatever I'm working on, all I have to do is click that top button, bring up this control and click what I want. I don't have to remember what key to press, which is great. And you can make a bunch of these and set them to different keys if you want. You don't have to do just one. You can do a whole bunch. Okay, so let me show you how that works. So if I wanted to make a duplicate of this, all I have to do now is click one button on my stylus and click new variant and it will make a clone for me and I could process this a totally different way or whatever I, whatever I want to do and I'm good to go versus normally I would have to memorize the shortcut for that feature and then if I had something else I wanted to do for example like copying the adjustments now I gotta remember that shortcut and then I gotta remember to do that every time I wanna do a copy of an adjustment so at least this way I'm able to still be really fast with Capture One without actually having to memorize all of those different shortcuts which is awesome and that's one of the ways that the Wacom tablet really makes a difference for me especially if I have to learn new software like this. And as always keep your eye on the edu.huntsphoto.com website for any upcoming classes. I'll see you later. Bye.